Good day, good day, dear friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. A day as good as mine. Let's make sure this thing is functional. My friends, today, I'm uh, back in the kitchen. A little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, ackee and saltfish. Now, I did this before um, in one of my other videos. But uh, this is different. This I call Waka Waka. <laughs> now, Waka Waka is really a word. Waka Waka is two separate words, but it's really a word. What is Waka Waka? For me, it means original. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the actual meaning of uh, Waka Waka, which has actually several meanings, one of them is in uh, Swi um, Swahili, mean to shine. <laughs> and do it. I suppose you can say the word just do it. <laughs> you just remove the just. Because Waka Waka. So, my friends, let me get going. So, why do I call it Waka Waka? My Aki and Saltfish. I already have my Saltfish soaked. So, it's soaked overnight. And uh, I will double boil it. And what makes it Waka Waka? First, this is my Aki. Couldn't find um, couldn't find Grace uh, uh, produced by Grace, but uh, I'll settle for a Montego Bay uh, Royal. <laughs> as long as they open the pod um, <laughs> before consumption, then I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> I told you the story about acting before. So, essentially, what makes it Waka Waka for me? Um, unlike your traditional ackee, um, ackee dish, never before added shredded carrot and, the, um, and cabbage. What I'm going to do here with my concoction, I'm going to have this soak in water. This is just plain vinegar. Let me add some more water, by the way. And uh, some sugar. So a little bit uh, acidic and sweet at the same time. I'm gonna add some more water. Let it soak. Then eventually I'll rinse it. Yeah, we'll add some more water. Okay. I'm gonna let this uh, sit in the water for a while. While I bring my, my salt fish to boil, double boil, and then I'll cut the rest of the uh, vegetables. Um, here are my uh, red bell pepper, a combination of uh, onion, um, red and uh, sweet onion, and who does not like thyme? So those are the basics that will go into, oh, and uh, not to be the star, one of the star of the dish is my uh, scotch bonnet. Okay, I'm gonna put a whole one in there. It will be nice and spicy. So, here you have it, my friends. I'm going to get cooking. Aki Waka Waka. Say it with me. Waka Waka. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So my friends, the uh, salt fish or salted cod is a uh, cooked and ready to um, ready for me to uh, remove the bones and uh, break them in small pieces. And in doing so, I will run them again through water um, to remove the uh, excess salt. Um, my acne is drained, ready to go. You may wonder what the heck is acne. Aki um, is known as um, uh, Blahia uh, Satida. Um, it's a uh, plant um, originated in uh, West Africa. Um, it's from the um, Leche or um, Logan and Logan um, uh, uh, family. Um, Aki, uh, the pot itself, um, before consumption or when it's ready for consumption um, it pops open if you force open the pod it can be deadly I'll just put it in short but it may a delicious delicious dish and that'll be my dish for today Aki Waka Waka. <laughs> By the way, I have this lovely cutting board gifted to me by my soulmate. Um, I refrain from using it today because um, it needs to be cured. And I don't have the uh, curing um, uh, oil for it and so. Um, once I get the curing oil for it, I'll be welcoming my new board. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me go break this thing up, uh, remove the excess, uh, remove the bones and uh, the um, excess salt, and then I'm going to get cooking my aki and salt fish. Waka waka. <laughs> so my friends, after uh, carefully removing all the uh, the bones and skin this is uh this is the end result it's what i have left um try to make sure there's no uh there are no bones in here and uh this would be ready for cooking now if you ever visited Jam uh, if you ever visit jamaica um you're gonna make sure you try <laughs> aki and salt fish <laughs> don't ask the waka waka because you will not find it there <laughs> Aki and saltfish is rooted in the history of Jamaica, like uh, colored greens in the south. So that's pretty much it. Um, it is also our national dish of Jamaica, um, except you will not find waka waka. <laughs> okay, so let the cooking begin. I am going to be pouring a generous portion of uh, olive oil. I love cooking with olive oil, and that's a lot. But I shower in olive oil. <laughs> Internally, that is. <laughs> and now, I will get this going. And the first thing will happen, I'm going to allow the uh, oil to heat up with my time in it, so I don't get much splash. Okay, waiting for the oil to heat up. And then the first thing that's going to go in is my... Um, my uh, peppers, uh, onions, of course, followed by the uh, followed by the 
cabbage and carrot slaw, which I'll drain in a second. All right, so the oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna sear the uh, thyme a little bit to uh, build the flavor. Swimming in olive oil. That's the way I like it. Keep my coat nice and shiny. <laughs> Okay, this is a lot, but that's how I like it. If ever you attempt to make this, you don't have to put so much uh, vegetables in there, but that's me. I love my veggies. So for seasoning, Because the salt fish is already salty, I'm trying not to use anything with salt. So this is a no salt seasoning. It has many, um, it's a blended spice seasoning without salt. This is just for flavor. And I'll be generous. I will also Even though I have the scotch bonnet, we'll do some fresh ground pepper. This is going to be whack. <laughs> so I never look up the word uh, waka waka. But I had that word in my head for quite some time until my son pointed out. So that highlighted me to uh, find the meaning of Waka Waka. And sure, sure, it tied right into my dish for today. With the fact that the ackee itself is originated in uh, West Africa. And my word Waka Waka in Swahili means to shine or do it. And I can say just do it. <laughs> I am doing it. <laughs> so, going to let that cook a little bit more until the onions become a bit translucent and uh, And I'm going to add my salt fish. Let's come blend it in with the flavor. Make sure it's equally distributed. Remember, no salt added. Your salt is already um, have salt and your ackee when in the can uh, it is uh, preserved in brine that's more salt so this can be a very salty dish we would take every precaution uh, to go low sodium by not adding in by not adding an additional salt
Now, see the reason why I use uh, this much uh, olive oil because uh, with all this veggie, you can easily be, um, can easily absorb the oil. And now, I'm going to add my slaw. I already drain it. Like I said, this is a lot. I probably won't use all of it. But it'll be too much. But I'll just drown the ackee. <laughs> right here, this good in itself. Is a dish without the ackee. Oh, found a piece that wasn't cut properly. <laughs> wasn't julienne properly. Okay, we're gonna let that cook a little bit more. And then I'll add the ackee. La hia, satida. So all of the uh, forwarding ingredients is already uh, pretty much ready. Carrots and uh, cabbage is uh, perfectly cooked. Now it's time to add my aki. Okay, because um, the aki or um, soft in nature once they're cooked, I'm just going to fold this in. So I don't have a mush. I'm going to turn the uh, heat down and let it simmer for a few. Let's put it on low. Let it simmer. While that's happening, traditionally, it is consumed with uh, some yam, banana, and dumpling. Uh, today I'm doing some um, hard dough whole wheat bread. So that's what will accompany my ackee and saltfish waka waka. <laughs> so my friends, ackee and saltfish waka waka is all done. Now it's time for consumption. Look at that. I just slowly fold it in. So I'm not making it, uh, I'm not bringing it to a mush. Oh, that looks delicious. Now, I've prepared my bread, so here we go. Generous portion. Together. Lovely. <laughs> I am whack. 
<laughs> so my friends, that concludes my dish. My Aki Saltfish Wakawaka. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. Doesn't it? Okay. And before I take a bite, as usual, <laughs> you get the first bite. So, here we go. Yummy. Perfect, perfect. A little bit of the spicy side. That uh, Scott Bonnet is kicking. But. Fall to me. I don't worry about tears. Delicious, delicious. And my friends, thanks for coming along with me today. Thanks for cooking with me. Until next time, this is Jamaican in the mood. Don't forget, laughter is the best medicine. Just laugh. Laugh up to yourself. <laughs> And one of my subscribers say, Stop laughing, your laugh is not funny. <laughs> Buddy, I laugh some more. <laughs> I love this space I'm in. I love the people I'm around. I love people in general. That makes me laugh. <laughs> Until next time, just to make an move, saying one love. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, peace. Love you, my friends.